Hi, my name is Quinn Hastel. I was a former staff member at Adullam. I am the LIT coordinator Aiden's bitter brother, and I am a member of the Canadian Armed Forces. Today, I'll be running you guys through one of my favorite and least favorite things to do, a core workout. So the first thing we're gonna do is a personal favorite of mine because it's what we do all the time in the army, flutter kicks. Now, in a flutter kick, you're gonna lie down on the ground, like so. You're gonna raise your legs up, one centimeter up the ground. You're gonna go and do this. One, two, three. That is one flutter kick. So let's go and do, we're gonna do 25 of those. So, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, eleven. One, two, three, twelve. One, two, three, thirteen. One, two, Three, fourteen, one, two, three, fifty, one, two, three, sixty, one, two, three, seventy, one, two, three, eighty, one, two, three, ninety, one, two, three, twenty, one, two, three, twenty one. Rest. One, two, three, twenty two, one, two, three, twenty three, one, two, three, twenty four, one, two, three, twenty five. Delta area out quick. So next we're going to go into what I call the thinking position. We're going to plank for one minute. Now between each exercise that I show you, we're going to be doing one minute of plank because in between each exercise, it's good to cool down, but you want to keep your core tight. So for the plank, get down on both your forearms and we just hold it. This is where we think about life, think about fitness, Think about staying in shape. Maybe look over at your buddy that you're working out at and say, stay fit. I don't know, talk about butterflies or something. I'm not really a good conversationalist when I'm working out. Generally, I'm sweating a bit more than this. You want to keep your back nice and straight. You don't want your uh, butt up in the air like this. You want to be staying straight the entire time. You want to stay flat. You don't want to let your knees touch the ground at all. If, if someone was to come by right now, they would be able to put their hand right underneath me and sweep from my elbows all the way to my knees. Well, not my knees, but my feet, as you can see there. Just so like I said, you should not be touching the ground. And that's when they have planked. I'm on a beach, so I'm a bit sandy, but yeah, that felt like two minutes, but it was only one. And now let's move on to the next workout. So now we're gonna go up a uh, little mountain here. We're going up Everest. We're gonna do some mountain climbers. These ones are some of my personal favorites just because they are a bit easier, but they will work your lower core, just right here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get down like we're doing a push up. We're going to go one, two, one, two, and that's one. So, one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. One, two, five. One, two, six. One, two, seven. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. One, two, ten. One, two, eleven. One, two, twelve. One, two, thirteen. One, two, fourteen. One, two, fifteen. One, two, sixteen. One, two, seventeen. One, two, eighteen. One, two, nineteen. One, two, twenty. One, two, twenty-one. One, two, twenty-two. One, two, twenty-three. One, two, twenty-four. One, two. 25. We made it to the top, boys. We made it to Everest. So next, we're going to go into what I call the thinking position. We're going to plank for one minute. Get down on both your forearms. 
And we just hold it. That's when they have flanked. So since we all love flutter kicks so much, I'm going to do something very similar to that. Although this time, luckily, it's with both legs and not both legs moving individually. So we're going to do some leg raises. Again, we're going to lie down on your back, like so. Get nice and comfy. We're going to go up and down. Do not touch your feet to the ground when you're doing a leg raise. Keep it off the ground. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Woo! Gotta love leg races. So next we're going to go into what I call the thinking position. We're going to plank for one minute. Get down on both your forearms and we just hold it. when they have flanked. All right, so now that we've climbed Everest, I think we should uh, also do the Tour of France, Tour de France, if you are France, Francais, whatever. Uh, so we are going to do some uh, bicycle crunches. So for this, again, that's what we're doing. We're lying down. So, bicycle crunch, you wanna sit like you're doing a crunch. So repeat. Don't raise your legs up. Don't go out. Out. One. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 2, 23, 24, 25. Just like riding a bike. So next we're going to go into what I call the thinking position. We're going to plank for one minute. Get down on both your forearms and we just hold it.
that's one they have planked. So now that we've gotten off our bikes, uh, we're going to be doing some leg circles. These are then fairly straightforward, but we're going to start in our favorite position, lying on our backs. We're going to put our hands under our butts. I find that it makes everything a bit easier. Got to the lights out. I'm just going to make a circle. Go one way, and then the other. And that's one. So one. Two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Take a break if you want to, I know I do, because I hate lead circles. They're my second least favorite ab workout. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Woo! Ha, ah, leg circles, my old friends. I have missed you so. So next, we're going to go into what I call the thinking position. We're going to plank for one minute. Get down on both your forearms, and we just hold it. when they have planked. All right, so since we're all getting pretty tired at this point, I'll give us a fairly easy exercise for this next one. We're just gonna do some lead races. It's fairly straightforward. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stay standing. You ain't gonna lie down for this. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four. So then that's just, you raise one leg, put it down. You want our ladies at the hip level, put it down. Raise the other one up, Put it down. That's one. So we're gonna go up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So next we're going to go into what I call the thinking position. We're going to plank for one minute. Get down on both your forearms and we just hold it.
that's one they have planked. So, we've done our planks. We've done all this other ab workout. Done our, got our nice core down and tight. But there's one final exercise. This exercise, it isn't my favorite. It ain't even in the top five, but it needs to be done. We're gonna be doing 25 burpees, everyone. So for a burpee, we put our hands in the air. We jump up, we go down, shoot your legs out, come back up, and jump up. That is one burpee. And we're now going to do 25 of those. Alrighty, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 25. You didn't do anything more than burp on that. So that's been our core workout. Hopefully you're breathing a hard bit. Hopefully you've been drinking water, staying hydrated, self-isolating, and uh, text your friends, say hi. Hopefully you've enjoyed this workout. I've been Quinn. Have a good one.